hello viewers welcome back in this lesson we will look at how to achieve diagonal movement in interskater let's get started can you click on the like button and also press on the notification bell so that you always be notified whenever i upload new video okay so to demonstrate this we will have to draw a line from point A to point C, a diagonal line. So we have a diagonal line between point A to point C. Okay, good. Our next action is to draw the object that we want to move. So I will copy this particular box and then place it here. So let's say for instance we have this box that we want to move from point A to point C. You can see that when I double click and I come to the location on the property window, there's nothing like a horizontal movement location. But basically this is an XY plane and then we can manipulate both the vertical and then the horizontal to achieve a diagonal movement. Good. So let's do this. To do this we need to measure just as we did in the previous one. Okay. So we take the measurement. At this point, I have the X to be 300, 350 and the Y to be 70. And at this point, I have the X to be 850, Y 400. So we have 850 minus 350 for the X axis, which will give us 500. And for the Y, we have uh, 400 minus 70 for the Y, which is going to give us... 330 okay good so we can go back to our property window and then we can see that for our x which is the horizontal we can double click on it the expression will still be the same movement is going to 0 200 sorry the value 0 200 because we are still maintaining the same data point but here it's from 0 to 500 for the X which is the vertical and then now I can switch to the horizontal by clicking on this automatically switch me to the sorry the vertical moment and then 0 100 still maintains the same and then here is going to be 0 and 330 perfect I click on OK and then OK again good so you can see that from here we have only the horizontal if i click to next it will switch but it does not have uh, the vertical activated and here we can see that we have only the vertical activated but the horizontal is not selected but for the diagonal movement we need to check both the vertical and then the horizontal all right so we can go to run time and check the movement good and perfectly we've been able to achieve the diagonal movement so we go back to the development page go to our main page and then apply this to our conveyor okay so we'll bring a new conveyor that is somehow inclined symbol factory select and then go to ok i'm at conveyors i get a, a conveyor that is uh, tilted okay so for example or demonstration purpose let's say for instance we have the we have the bottle instead of coming from top to this particular point is rather descending from from a conveyor from top to this particular button conveyor so i will bring the bottle to the top here okay good so now we have a conveyor belt in place we have a bottle move to this particular point okay so now we apply the we apply animation to it so that it can move from this side of the conveyor to this uh, down conveyor belt all right so to do this we we'll follow the same procedure we need to measure so from here this is uh, 1160 that is 1160 for the x axis and then the y axis we have 130 when i move down to this point that i want it to be I have uh, roughly six 
90 and 270 okay good so our first point was uh, 160 that's for the x-axis minus uh, 690 is going to give us uh, 470 so we go to our bottle properties and go to the horizontal because we need to do the horizontal first and remember this one we are moving from top towards down so we need to change here is going to be our zero here is going to be our hundred and then the top side which is uh, basically our right towards left is going to be our right is going to be our zero and here is going to be our 470 that we just calculated okay then I move to the vertical side remember the vertical side will still remain the same you don't need to change it so vertical side still the same so 0 1 and then we calculate for the vertical side we picked the first reading to be 280 minus 130 so 280 minus 130 that is going to give us 250 so we are going to range, sorry it's going to give us 150 so range between 0 and then 150 good and we click ok and now we can go to runtime and then test ok start moving it perfect perfect so you can see that we've been able to achieve the movement and we can tweak the numbers so you get exact angle that you really need so basically this is how you apply the diagonal movement to a specific interscader design thank you very much for watching see you in the next tutorial bye bye